Hey guys, this is Malogixis YT and welcome to my Life is Strange Before the Storm gameplay. So last time we discovered everything about Rachel's past or childhood and then we discovered everything or most of the story about Sarah according to James um, Amber or um, Rachel's dad. So yeah, I guess we're gonna figure out more. We're going to join her in her bedroom, I guess. So yeah. So be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Life is Strange Before the Storm gameplay. So let's continue episode 3, Hell is Empty. Okay, so this is her, um, this is her bedroom? Let's see how beautiful it could be. Oh, there are stars and stripes. Wait, America. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Square Enix. Okay, here we are again. Introduction, since this is the chapter third. I am so happy, life travel. Oh my god, those are drama masks? Is that what it's called? And some hat. And that's some laptop. There's... Is that a globe? A lighting globe? Oh my god, such a beautiful room than mine. Hey Rachel, you okay? Have you recovered or anything? Rachel? Get up there! Just kidding. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. <laughs> okay, yeah, of course, of course. I'd be gentle. Okay, let's see. Uh, of course we can't get out. Oh my god. Above all, remember you are loved. You know what? I just realized, like, um, Rachel's father did everything to make her life a lot better than her mother's. Or, I mean... I mean, look at everywhere. Everything is like positive vibes and everything. But just like um, Sarah, even if you have everything, there is still something that you may um, feel like is missing in your life. So yeah, let's just look at this um, needle point. The yin and badass yang of Rachel Amber. Okay, before all else, be armed. Machiavelli, okay. Hmm, what's my objective here? Be here for Rachel. Well, I'm already here, so... <laughs> okay, let's look at here. Corkboard, what's in Rachel here? Rachel has so many inspirations. She can barely keep them all contained. Okay, so what's that? Casting call? Or, okay, she really wants to be an actress, I guess. And there's travel photos. And is that a photo with her friends or something? Wait, um, and then are those constellations? So she's into zodiacs, I think. Lots of traveling, lots of drama stuff. Okay, let's read every notes there. Okay, um, quote, nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I'm possible, unquote, by Audrey Hepburn. The beginning is always today, by Mar Mary Wals Wallstonecraft. Let us think the unthinkable. Let us do the undoable. Let us prepare to grapple with the ineffable itself and see if we may not F it after all. Douglas Adams. All of these are giving so much positive vibes. <laughs> is it well that I should? Is it well that I should with to leave? Wait, what? Is it well that I should with to leave this? This. Is it well that I should with to leave this dreary world behind, seeking for your fair utopia, which perchance I may not find? Henry Kendall. Okay, that sounds Shakespeare-ish or something. <laughs> um, Kiss Me Kate at the pr Promenade. Once Upon a Time at the Forum at the para Paradiso. Then The Glass Menagerie at the Weber Playhouse. Oh my god, stuff are hard to read. <laughs> oh well, that's a lot of beautiful things about her life, I guess. Um, the lamp? Why is it covered like that? Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Ooh, did she make that? Okay, let's look at the card. Rachel even knows Wait, how no, to make a no, dinky not that. lamp look cool. Let's look at that. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so... Uh, alone. That's exactly my 
point earlier, okay, to our wonderful daughter on the night of her first show. Break a like. We love you, mom and dad. Is this for tonight, The Tempest? Or was this like when she was younger? I think maybe that was when she was younger. Oh my god, why does she have a lot of cork boards here? Okay, um, let's uh, look. What's that? Makes sense that Rachel needs okay. two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now <laughs> on. She was, so she's a Cospian. So, um, both a Cancer Leo. So her, what's her birthday again? She, did I remember that? Or was that ever mentioned? If she's a Cospian, I think it's around July 21, I think? I'm not sure. But all I know is that she said she's a Leo. So maybe 21 or 22 or 23. <laughs> I'm not sure, okay. Um, strengths? Um, creative, passionate, loving, devoted, diplomatic. Well, that's exactly who she is. Weaknesses, self-centered, volatile, possessive, and dramatic. Exactly like Rachel Amber. You know, I like uh, zodiac charts like that and identifying people's personality. Was there something that I'm not seeing? Okay, uh, maybe not. What's this? Nightlight? Oh, let's look at that. Cool light. Wait, what would happen if I turn it on? It's purple. I love purple. This light needs more. Light. <laughs> this light needs more light. Yeah, it has to be bigger. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Okay, I'll wait. Before we do that, let's just keep looking around. Um, duffel bag? We were so close to making our break last night. Now... I don't know. She might be too upset to go though. Oh my god, Enneagram. Oh my god. These are my kind of things. I'm so interested in Zodiac, MBTI, and Enneagram, and I'm seeing it in this game. Now I love it more. <laughs> now I love Life is Strange more and more. I think I'm a 4 wing 5. <laughs> What's her type? Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? Oh, okay. Her main Enneagram type is type type 4. Is that right? Yeah, individualist. And her tri type is like Okay, how do I how do I tri type this? It's like 142 or for one two um, i'm not an enneagram master or specialist but that's it i'm like a four wait i'm also a four what the heck <laughs> okay we're almost similar okay and i'm a sagittarius okay yeah okay um okay type four the individualist creative sensitive independent that's also me <laughs> can be prone to melancholy and and self-indulgence yeah, that's why I'm playing this game. <laughs> I'm kind of enjoying some sadness and stuff and thinking about my own thoughts and stuff. The best thing for a four is to learn how to let go of feelings from the past and focus on the potential that the future holds. Hey, that hits me so bad. <laughs> okay. I wish I can read more of it in there. Just like l long paragraphs in there. Maybe I can zoom in. Type 4, the individualist. Type 4s can be the most creative of the types. When they are able to reach their potential at their best, type 4s are inspired, productive, sensitive, and independent. In a difficult environment, however, type 4s can fall into melancholy and self-indulgence. 4s craft their own identities by picking and choosing a select choosing a select few of their emotions to rely on and all, but blocking out the rest. Type 4s define themselves by their differences from other people. While this can lead, uh, lead to incredible talent and creativity, it can also lead to an unhealthy obsession on their perceived deficiencies and flaws. The best thing for a 4 is to learn how to let go of feelings from the past and focus on the potential that the future holds. So yeah, it's relatable for me. Oh yeah, before I forgot, we're playing Life is Strange, not Enneagram. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay.
Um, before we talk to Rachel, let's look at her other stuff. Do you have stuff about your MBTI, Rachel? <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's an extrovert. Okay. May you always be safe. Sure. But from who? From any dangers and possibly Sarah, her mom. Mm, her dad is so sweet. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> well, I mean, Chloe will be real jealous. But both of them didn't have good life or something. I mean, someone will always have better life than you. Oh, are those alcohols? Flashlights and radio. Oh, I can use the flashlight. Rachel might not survive her family, but at least she'll survive the zombie apocalypse. Oh, definitely. Okay, we'll survive the apocalypse though. Okay, let's take that. Ooh, that's really bright. I guess we can use that for the um, purple light. Okay, there's something from mom. Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home. Doesn't matter that it's after curfew. Mom, I can't right now. Please. I feel so sad that Chloe is avoiding her mom. But it is how it is. <laughs> okay, um. Uh, anything in the drawer? I'm just gonna be so nosy here. Um, Rachel doesn't mind at all. Don't sh doesn't she? I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, um, Latin honors, A, excellence, personified, American experience, A, unfailingly insightful and dedicated, 20th century lit, A, indefatigable of mind and spirit, biology honors, A, an absolute star pupil, drama love, A, the light of Dionysus brightly shone, Physical ed, a perfect attendance. She's so good. All her, she got straight A's. I mean, I can do that too. <laughs> oh, something in her laptop? I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Okay, um, let's read everything about it. Dear Miss Arcadia, okay, what's the real deal with that fire north of town? And when it's... When's it going to come down here and incinerate us all in its fiery hug of death? Asking for a friend. Bros before bronies? <laughs> First, guy forget. First, king walls. No, king walls. Didn't that fire start the day after Firewalk was here? Hmm. North coaster. This is a strange one, friends. ABFD sources say they've never seen anything like it. No idea where it came from. No idea why it's lasted this long. Total mystery. Time to put on your tinfoil hats and start speculating. Ask Miss Arcadia. What? <laughs> okay, there's a dragon with matches that's loose on the town. Dead fun. Oh, uh, what? Prescott's like 50% serious. Lady Ephredit? Why only 50? Prescott's are shady as shit. Did really put this past them? They probably had some incriminating evidence to burn, or better yet, the bodies. Oh wow! Not to mention the chemtrails, the chemtrails they drop all over the town. Highly flammable, nothing forever. Occam's razor, people. Just some kids getting high in the woods. As for the weirdness, this town is weird. What else? What else is new? S Z. Okay, at nodding forever, but why male models, Lady Everyday? What? <laughs> um, uh, at SZ, we are built on an Indian burial ground, are we not? King Walls, what? At King Walls, native people's burial ground, and no, we're not. Uh huh. So you mean Indians like Native Americans. At King Walls, burn. Get it? <laughs> oh my god, why are we making fun in the middle of a forest fire crisis? Guy forget. Previous topic, legalize Oregon movement. How to get involved. Next topic, Blackwell tuition spike. It's coming. Oh no, the tuition is going up. But 
at least we're suspended. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so wait, so Rachel is reading these stuff? She's trying to get updated on what people thinks? Uh, like what people thinks is happening? Okay, uh-huh. Notebook? Rachel's always made being an A student seem so... easy. Almost sad to see all this. Well, Chloe, we all know that she's good. And like she said earlier, she, she can, but she doesn't want to. She has the knowledge, but she doesn't have the right attitude for her studies. And she has the skills, so yeah. Okay, Um, daily study planner, Friday, May 10, 2010. Okay, biology, page 247 to 259, lab notes, drama, dress rehearsal, blocking review, light cues, etc. English, LOTF188244. American experience, essay prompt, 3 to 5 pages rough. Latin conjugation worksheet, vocab list 1 to 18. Okay, so I guess that's what's, what's she supposed to do for the week. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? Mm, anatomy, herbology. Herbology? <laughs> Wait, maybe anatomy. I like anatomy. I have fun labeling the whole body parts, to be honest. Especially the brain. That's the one. Mm, what's that? What's written in there? Uh, anatomy, where do babies come from? Show and tell. That sounds like a song. <laughs> <laughs> if you know the song... I bet Rachel could have any study partner she wanted. Mm -hmm. Not that I would let her. Well, babies come from... The uterus is on fire! <laughs> oh, what's this? Let's look at it. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. Did they give her this flowers or something? Let's save it. Is that flowers? Am I right? Yeah, roses. Are we gonna give it to her? <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Oh, we're going to display it. Is that in her water bottle? <laughs> what else is here? Um, more books. She's really studious. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Oh well, yeah. Thou can't help Rachel. <laughs> Is that right? I'm just attempting Shakespeare stuff. The complete works of William Shakespeare. Yeah, I can read that. It's so big. Okay, let's look at the globe. Oh my god, that's so wonderful. I want to have a globe like that. I mean, we have a globe Rachel's in our home, really but I want stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. I wish I have a room like I can see all this all the constellation mostly for Sagittarius. I... Um what's this? Bunnies. Oh, world map. I also like world maps. Oh my god, Rachel, are we the same except that you're more extroverted than I am? <laughs> okay, uh let's look at it. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. Um well, let's put graffiti on it. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. Something Rachel said, something I said. Maybe she would appreciate it if I put up something I said. Back on the train, I said... Wait, what did I say? Let me know if you need an accomplice. Oh, yeah, I did say that. That's so nice. Okay, let's look at it. I can't wait to leave this place. Yeah, I hope we can. Let's look at that. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. Really? Well, I think it's believable. After all, they're both awesome people. And they're both actually good. Nathan's just got some problem while well, being pressured so much by his dad or being pressured by everyone for coming from a rich family or something 
Okay, um, let's use the flashlight on it. I want to see the stars. Is that right? Those are stars, right? Oh, we're going to place the bulb thing. It fits? Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, let's do it! Wait. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Oh, we need her attention first? I was hoping that I could do it without her. Just kidding. Okay, let's look at it. Wish there was some way to make this brighter. Make what brighter? It's not there anymore. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's uh, look at Rachel. Hi, Rachel. I can't imagine what Rachel is thinking right now. I want her to tell me when she's ready. Oh my god, I love her room. Definitely my kind of thing. And there's violet purple curtains right there. <laughs> okay, um, stars? Would you like some stars with Leo and Cancer? I think she would love that. Oh, we're gonna turn off the lights. Let's make you happy. Hey. Check oh it no, out. she's crying hard. Well, I mean, quietly. Oh my god, I love that. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. I thought you might like it. Well, I like it I've too. I always love stars. I always love stars too. <laughs> Why? You remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Well... Because yeah. we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. You know, Rachel is all about fire then stuff. I learned the truth. You know, stars are like the a huge ball of fire. fire. I've already been dead. For millions of years. They're all... Lies. Oh. Stars suck. But it's still beautiful. Don't lose hope, Rachel. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful. Right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then... What's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. <laughs> I can't trust any of them. But all of them do that, I think did you're that the to only support one you. In the world I can trust. I'm honored that you trust me. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I'll always be with you, Rachel. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. Well, if I remember it correctly, Sarah was wearing that bracelet. Like, in that um, story that James was telling us when she was born. I saw Sarah wearing that bracelet. That's why she has it all her life. Oh my god, I love that. That light right there. Star light. Literally. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we're gonna exit before I have to remove the 
background the music fact again. That she's here right now. That she came here for me. Yes, she came for you. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Well, it's not wrong. You should definitely see your biological mom, in my opinion. Because I think people who haven't seen their parents ever will feel incomplete or something. Because it's, of course, nice to know who your biological parents are and to feel like who you really are. I don't know, maybe? So, yeah. Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah, that's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. What's your secret weapon? But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Well, I do. I, I've got an idea. I mean, I saw Sarah from Frank Bauer's van. So maybe we can start from there? I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. And maybe we'd of course, return the money? Of course, we know where she is. <laughs> we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Yeah, I've got that one too. Yeah, I've got that one too. Don't worry. I've got that one covered too. We have a vehicle. I told you I'd make it work, <sighs> right? You do? Yep. In fact... Anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. Yeah. I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? Well, actually, you'll know it when you're there. Usually people say, people who says they don't know what to say will suddenly say a lot of things, right? So yeah, you'll know it for sure. After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. Yeah, we had that. Uh dream like it's almost few like times. it's another part of my life it used to be the only part that mattered i've never told anyone about that weird huh that means you're close friends and you trust uh, each other rachel i was just thinking Maybe I was wrong before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Yep. Right. As long as we can see it. As long as we believe that it's real. Okay. I think that's all for today. Now. Let's just continue that in the next video. And maybe we'll meet up with Frank Powers. Maybe. So yeah. So be sure to like, comment, share it with your friends. And subscribe to my channel for more Life is Strange Before the Storm video. So thanks for watching. Goodbye. The stars we're seeing have already been dead. For millions of years. They're all... Lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful.